somehow we keep getting even crazier George Santos information. So everyone knows George Santos has criminal charges in Brazil from his time there. So he has hired a Brazilian criminal lawyer to handle those charges. And I don't mean it's a Brazilian lawyer that handles criminal cases. I mean it's a Brazilian lawyer who was convicted of a Brazilian gang killing. Yeah. A Brazilian news outlet wanted to know, how does George Santos even know of this man, know that he's a lawyer? He's not even part of a law firm. This man studied law while serving his 18-year sentence and was only released in June. So they sent the questions to Santos' office in Portuguese. And they got a response that George Santos does not know Portuguese. George Santos has done multiple interviews in Portuguese. So they sent the same questions in English and then didn't get a response. And you might think, wow, that's outrageous. We got more. So George Santos continues to be asked about why did he lie about the death of his mother? Remember, at first he claimed it was 9-11, but then confirmed later she died in 2016. And there are clips circulating of him insulting reporters for asking about his mother. So George Santos told a reporter that she died from toxic dust from 9-11, but her death was in 2016 from that dust. I assume George Santos didn't know that people had already pulled U.S. immigration documents to confirm his mother was not even in the U.S. during 9-11. Yeah, so that happened. He's still trying to lie about that one somehow. Now, behind me, we have this. As the Chinese spy balloon flies eastward, the Biden administration casually walks away from the situation. What is being reported by the DOD is truly alarming, and the president needs to explain why the balloon continues to invade our airspace. So the balloon was shot down today when it neared water and it was no danger to American citizens on the ground. The government tracked the balloon the entire time. We knew when it entered U.S. airspace, we knew when it entered Canadian airspace, and then came back into U.S. airspace and it was ordered destroyed as of Wednesday. I wonder how many of the Republican Congress members, maybe George Santos, knew that it was already ordered shot down while complaining about it on Twitter and TV, saying it, why isn't it shot, shot down? Well, it was ordered to be shot down as soon as it was safe. Some House members have even mentioned wanting to have investigations into how the balloon was handled and why it wasn't considered a bigger deal. But the Pentagon has already stepped in and said, this has happened multiple times over the past several years. Yes. And we now have Trump administration officials, according to reporters, confirming that they flew over the U.S. under Trump, but it wasn't a big deal. So what is different this time? conservative media was looking for some new outrage material before they go back to Tucker Carlson's obsession with M&Ms, I guess. Like, if they have this investigation, I don't think it's going to happen, but if they have it, people are going to ask, well, what about all the times it happened under Trump? And if that happens, I feel like they'll suddenly move on. 